So you, you grew up in Italy. Yeah. What was that like coming from America to Italy? Because like you said, I, I know that in a traditional Italian family, you, yeah. you usually have a family business and your father wants you to go into the family business. Absolutely. So what was that like when you finally told your father, like, yo, I, I kind of want to do my own thing? It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. My dad was like, you doing what? Right. <laughs> he couldn't believe it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was... I was so like pumped that at that time I was like, I had so many emotions going through my mind. Cause I, you know, you never want to disappoint your parents. Right. You know, so you're always like, I'm going to go, but I'm going to show that it was worth it type of thing. And right. that's like on the back of my mind, it's always there still to this day, you know, but you know, yes, I, you're exactly right. I had to, my dad wanted us to do a certain path, but again, it's like, which life am I living? My life or your life or my dad's life? Right. You know, I like, understand. so I had to make, I can't believe that I made that decision when I was 22. Cause I, if I, if I look back now, I'm like, bro, like, why? Yeah. It's, like, a, it's, it's a big decision. It is. It is. And, I, and I miss my family, you know, cause I, I go home once a year, you know, and you know, I try to go at least once a year, but I miss them. You know, it's nice to have family around, you know, I think family is important, but I've been here by myself. You kind of get used to it. It, it was extremely hard to leave, you know, with nothing. You mm -hmm. go somewhere, you're nobody. Nobody mm -hmm. knows you. Yeah. You have, I had a, dude, I had like $2,000, bro. Right. <laughs> so that's, 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 you know, that's, <laughs> that type of belief in yourself that's is, the thing. is amazing. That's the thing. And looking back now, I know some people are not going to believe in these type of things, but I started to believe in these things now that I look back on all the choices and the decisions I made. If you believe with all yourself that you're going to do something, you're going to make it happen, if you like, with every cell of your body, envision and believe that you're going to make it, you're going to freaking make it. I agree with that wholeheartedly, dog. And a lot of people don't. And I didn't either. Right. When I make it, I didn't even realize that I right. that I did that until recently. When I look back, I'm like, bro, I was so pumped. I, I just, I didn't even consider not making it. And that's when like a lot of things start happening to you, right? Because when you're like in that vibration, when you're in that like, train of thoughts you're like in the positivity of all the things are all the good things are going to happen to you you're going to get through everything you know like it just happens you know like mm -hmm. things just matter of fact when i look back i'm like oh i started like because i was doing like a little bit of modeling back in italy when i, I mean we're talking now i'm a little I'm a little seasoned you know, but <laughs> when i was seasoned. younger i was seasoned. i was a handsome man <laughs> back in the days okay <laughs> So I, I was doing like a little bit of modeling and I never cared for it because I'm, I mean, I'm a nerd. Right. I don't care about that stuff, but it was just, it happened. It was easy. I used to work, I worked for Dolce & Gabbana back in Italy. You know, I did some stuff in Milan and, you know, it was something that I was like, oh, maybe, you know, like I don't, I have it, you know, why not use it while I'm young? Yeah. So in New York, you know, it kind of worked out, but you know, same thing. I was just thinking like, oh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen because there's no reason why it shouldn't. Right. You know, and I feel like if more people would just understand that you just got to get into that, you know, like positivity and like, I don't know, like that, a that specific mindset, mindset you have to be in. It'll happen, bro. Yeah. It I, just it's just hard to commit to it. It is. But you're the living proof. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. Because, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. You inspired me so much, especially this past year, bro. Like I've been honestly like I've been watching your stuff. I mean, I've been messaging you. Yeah, of course. We talked throughout it. Yeah, we talked. Because I had no doubts in my mind that you were going to go through it, like, successfully. I no appreciate problem. that. And appreciate the fact that. that you actually did, I was like, yeah, I knew. I knew that since I day appreciate one. That. You know, you know, I know it's funny, dog. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, it's, no, no, it's, no, no, it's funny because, like, not only you, but there are a few other people in the industry yeah. that have said exactly what you said. Mm -hmm. But, like... You're one of the you're one of the few that like completely believed in it, and yeah. you told me like when I said I was gonna do it, you you were like, yeah, that's that's gonna be successful for you, and you, and that just goes to show you the type of mindset that you had, even coming from Italy, not knowing anybody, right, going yeah. to New York, not knowing anybody, because you know the two cities that you chose are notoriously bigger cities for people that not easy. if they don't know you, <laughs> yeah. you know they they gonna just walk right by you, yeah. So I think I thank you, and I think that's dope, but. Also, just your own story is is amazing to me. Mm. You know what I mean? Like being being 22, coming to America with yeah. no money, no family, no support system, and making it work. No English. Is, it, no English <laughs> is that amazing. Was, that was terrible.